Hey guys, it's Trip with IFT, and today we're gonna to tackle how to automatically grow your community with IFT, all right? If you have been with us for the past couple of videos, we really talked about what is a community in 2024, what is the creator economy, how do you build and grow a community, like what are the basic concepts of that? Um, but today we're gonna really tackle the practical, you know, what do you need to set up on IFT so that your community can grow uh, without you having to go and do all the work, right? So if you're new here, it stands for if this then that. It's an automation tool and we help creators build community, right? We also do a lot of other things. You're gonna find a ton of really cool applets on IFT, but today let's just show you how to build that community um, using IFT, all right? So step one, if you're a creator, we know that you're on Instagram or YouTube or Twitch, and you are producing content, right? The next step is how do you share your content with your audience? So if your audience is on Slack, Discord, Facebook groups, you can easily share your content with that audience using it. So we have all these connections just built out with our uh, platform. And today I'm gonna kind of show you how some of those uh, applets work and then we can kind of build one together um, as a, just a little example of what you can do with IFT and really start building that community with IFT. Let's head over to the computer and let's start automating your community. All right, so here we're at IFT's website. Um, and honestly, this is how you kind of like look around throughout the whole website. We're on the explore page. You can find really cool applets that we're running or you know, new stories that we're kind of talking about like how to build a YouTube audience in 2024. We've got all that kind of under our explore feed, but here you can easily just search for whatever tools that you're using, right? So if you are a YouTube uh, creator, we've got a YouTube channel that you can click into and then you can kind of see like all these really cool public automations that you can use with your YouTube account and just set them up and they just run at the background, which is amazing. So let's first click into YouTube really quick. So these are YouTube integrations. It's really easy to start automating with IFT. All you have to do is click this create button and then sign in with your YouTube account and everything's connected, right? So if you want to um, automatically tweet the videos you like, uh, you can set that one up. So if you're running through YouTube and you're like liking either your own videos or other creator videos, you can kind of tweet those um, messages up or What's another cool one that, if you're a content creator, it's like publish your new videos on Tumblr, right? So let's say you have an audience on Tumblr and they're interacting and commenting on your videos. Um, you can automatically, whenever you publish a new video on YouTube, just turn around and publish that on Tumblr without you even uh, doing anything, which I think is great. It's amazing. Um, or if you have your own website, right and you might use wordpress or webflow um, but if you are creating content on youtube and you want to have it stored and like shared on your website for people that go to your website or your rss feed uh, users then you can automatically publish new videos from youtube onto wordpress without you having to download upload or copy the embed code and adding that into WordPress and then pressing publish. So those are all built out for you, but we can go in and create our own. Um, so let's check this out. So I'm going to create this YouTube. So if this and that, go YouTube. All right, so new public video uploaded by me, right? So I, am running our IFT YouTube channel, as you can see, if I click this one, from our IFT account. So we are a creator in this aspect. We create this trigger. Um, it's really easy, and then you basically say, what do I want to happen, right? Do I want to get an email of the video so that I know it got uploaded successfully? Or add that into a Google spreadsheet so I kind of have this archive of all of my historical videos easily accessible in a Google spreadsheet for myself. Um, I could do that, or if I'm trying to build community, which is the goal here, I wanna share this with our audience, right? So um, we have a really big audience on Reddit. So if I go into Reddit, I'm gonna click this, 
submit a new um, link. So I want, we have maybe like 50,000 subscribers to our Reddit audience. Um, I want to share this content with that community, right? So um, it's gonna include the title, and it's gonna have the link URL, and the subreddit is gonna be just if. And just to confirm, you go to reddit.com forward slash r if. Boom, yeah, if almost 60,000 ifters. There's 25 on there right now. So let's just share this with them, okay? So I'm gonna create this action. Now, um, this I would say this was kind of a boring post, okay? It just has the title and it just has the URL, and which is cool. I mean, let's say if this one's titled How to Automate Your Community Building, um, that could kind of drive some engagement. But what if we made it a little bit more intuitive, right? So let's go back and we're gonna add a query really quick. So the query, we're gonna use the AI social creator. And I'm going to say, um, yeah, generate a social media update on a topic, right? So I'm gonna say this one, we're gonna connect it, it's easy. We're gonna say platform, it's Twitter, so I can kinda of keep it short. And the topic is going to be, yeah, the title of the video. So whatever we name our video in YouTube and we publish, um, it's gonna pull this in and I want it to be, uh, let's say witty. I feel like us as a brand, we're pretty witty, we're kind of fun. Um, and then I do want it to be English. I'm just gonna leave that one blank. Let's say create query, let's say submit new um, link. And in the title, I'm just gonna say this. I'm gonna add the ingredient from this. So whatever Reddit or whatever um, our social query pools and creates for our YouTube title, we're just gonna add that as our um, Reddit post so that whenever people like see it pop up on Reddit, they're gonna interact with it a little bit more. So I'm just gonna have our title. Um, and we're just gonna update that action, right? So I'm gonna say continue. And basically, if a new public video is uploaded, uploaded on the IFT account, it's gonna submit a new link to the Reddit community. So now we have engaged audience are ready to click and view our videos. Um, and there's, yeah, 60,000 of them. So might as well share whenever we publish a new video to them. Um, so yeah, check that out. And we're live. And if, I think this is a really good video. I can always just go down here and publish it. And what that does is that video applet was just private for me. Um, but now I can kind of update this. It, a lot of this is pretty good just um, as draft. But I can run down here. And I like to just kind of name it what the exact automation is because it's easier to read. It's easy for me to understand what it does. I'm just gonna save. I'm gonna publish. Cool. So now it's it's live for anyone to check it out. So go and you can connect that if you have a good Reddit audience and Reddit community. Um, but if any, whenever this video gets published that you're seeing right now, it's gonna automatically add to our Reddit community. People can upvote it or uh, downvote it or interact with it there. But as you can see, it's really easy to kind of create those applets. All you have to do is think of if I published an Instagram post or if I go live on Twitch or if I publish a YouTube video, then where do I want that content to go? Do I want it to go to a Reddit community? Do I want it to go to a Discord? Do I want it to go to a Facebook group, right? So you kind of have to think, yeah, where's the audience I'm trying to interact with and how can I share this content directly to them, right? Um, and it's super easy, it's super easy to build those custom applets or if those applets, those applets might be ready for you to just turn on and one click press play on IFT right now. So do a little research, um, but we're super excited to see how you use IFT to really grow your community and really share your content with your audience. Um, but again, this is Trip with IFT. Uh, like and subscribe, and yeah, share your favorite applets below. Uh, we'd love to see what you're building with IFT, and we'd love to see you 
help you build your community with Ift. Thanks, guys. <laughs>